Another one, you go and you visit him and he's murmuring things. He's murmuring things under his breath and he's saying things that you don't know what they are. Brothers, you know Ruqya, which is incantations with the Qur'an and, and seeking recitation of the Qur'an, seeking a cure and seeking healing. This is permissible, this is a sunnah. The conditions for Ruqya, one of them are that the Ruqya, that which is recited, is audible and is clear so you know what is being recited. These magicians, and I, you know, we all know the one, we all know the blowing one, yeah? Mr. Chuff, we all know him. And he has his taweez, uh, sorry, he has his tasbih, okay? And he's blowing. Can you hear what he's reciting? The answer is no. How do you know that he's not calling upon the shaytan? How do you know that he's not making these incantations, seeking the pleasure of the shayateen? The answer and the simple fact is, you don't. And so we look again, we want to know now, Mr. Mr. Chuff, is he correct? Should we go to him or should we not? So we look at his actions. We don't care where he's from. We don't care what darbar he's from. We don't care who his beard is. We don't care how tall his hat is. We don't care how orange his beard is. We don't care of any of that. We don't look at the thousands of people. We look at his actions. We say first, first. Are you following the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ in your appearance? No. Are you following the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ in your actions? No. Are you calling the people to the worship of Allah to attach their hearts to their Creator? No. Are you calling them to reconnect with the deen of Allah? The answer is no. Who are the people who are coming to you? It's the weak and the ignorant and the ones who have no knowledge. The ones who are easily fooled. And so you look at him and then you look at the individual actions. He's blowing. What's he blowing on? What is he calling upon? What is he reciting as he's blowing? Okay, question mark number one. Can we hear it? No. Okay, question mark number two. When he is speaking, is he saying that which is from the sunnah? The answer is no. Question mark number three. He's pulling the wool over the eyes of the people. Saying to them, pick up your phones and call the person who's sick and I'll blow down this microphone and he'll get better on the other side of the light. Take a picture and that person who's ill and he's in hospital, I'll blow from here and that person through the picture, he'll get better. Again, pure ignorance. But brothers, it doesn't stop there, subhanAllah. What I'm trying to get you to see, this man is an obvious example. He's an obvious example of a fraud of a shaitan. But then you get the people who are in our communities misleading our people and they are less, they are less obvious. So the man sits in the masjid and he's got a big beard and the people call him Mawlana. And when you call him and you say, this is what I need, all he says is no problem. Bring the person to me and you say, OK, no problem. And he says, I'm going to make ruqya. So he's, he's bought the person, his appearance is good, he's in the masjid, he's used the right word, I want to make ruqya over him. Then he sits you down and he mutters something. Bang, now the question mark starts. Or he gives you a taweez, again the question marks. Or he says to you, what's your name or your mother's name? Again, it might just be one thing which gives him away. So the point being, we need to know all of these things.